Divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. Is there a relationship between God as our parent and us learning about God through a process of being a parent ourselves? Well, certainly, there's always this uh, relationship that, so, and uh, as we uh, explained in the previous question too, this relationship is a key part of our development. How do you learn how to love when, when nobody has ever taught you how to love? Well, obviously, it's very difficult. Now, if we as a parent learn how to teach our child how to love, then our child will grow up knowing how to love and therefore find it quite easy to love. Quite easy to love a partner, mm. quite easy to love their children, quite easy to love their friends, right? And quite easy to love all humanity, even people who they view as their enemies. They're gonna actually find it quite easy to love them if they've been brought up in this environment. Now, that's the environment God's been attempting to bring us up in. But we've been rejecting all of God's indications. Yep. And, then, and then, so, so the, but the beauty is, by giving us this ability to procreate and have, and have children, God's children, come to us, we now have another opportunity to learn where the things that we didn't learn or get taught as a child. Does that make sense? Yeah. So God's giving us... So, so, so we never were taught, many of us were never taught how to love as a child, even though our parents would say that they did teach us. It was completely out of harmony with the, God's principles about love. We become a parent... And now God's giving us another opportunity to learn about love through the reflections yeah. from the child that we're getting back to ourselves to see what's out of harmony with us. And so we've got all these opportunities. This is the beauty of God involving us in the process is not only do we learn about God and God's nature with us, but we also learn through our children how to see ourselves as we really are. Yep. And not yeah. as we want to believe ourselves to be or what our parents created us to be. So it has a double effect, like on both ends, if you like. Um, on one end, it's teaching us about God. And on the other end, it's teaching us about ourselves <laughs> and about love. This process of having, a child, of, of having a child of God come into our lives. It's a very powerful process because of that. Now, most parents are so overwhelmed by that process that they can't believe that God's teaching us anything through it. Mm. Right? Yeah. And a lot of parents give up any concept that God's teaching us anything through this process of being a parent. And in fact, they come to the point where they're just trying to endure being a parent. Right? Now, I suggest to the parent, if, if any parent who's just trying to endure being a parent is already in severe disharmony with the laws of love, right? And also demonstrating, because of this emotion, they're demonstrating that they are also not humble, that they're not yeah. willing to have some self-examination and be taught what God's trying to teach them. So what God's trying to teach them through involving them in this process is God's trying to teach them about God, God's trying to teach them about themselves, and God's trying to teach them about love, right? through the process of having a child. There's so many things being taught. And if the parent is only reverting back to feeling like overwhelmed and always, you know, always feeling under pressure as a parent, then that is the measure of their complete resistance to all of the things that God is trying to teach them through the process of being involved in bringing up God's children.